all humans like gorillas that you said why is there a difference in the intensity and the love for uh, mukti like uh, we were talking the differences that you are talking of all relate to time therefore they would all be resolved in due course of time time gave rise to all those differences and those differences will not survive the test of time therefore if one is inclined towards mukti today the other one is going to be inclined towards mukti tomorrow time is not going to spare anybody liberation is almost like death what death is to the physical body liberation is to the inner body unavoidable so even that intensity with which you want that intensity is time that that time you gives you experiences right somebody's body has had different experiences somebody has had different experiences in education in society in growing up so he will probably have a more pronounced desire for liberation and somebody has had a different time somebody has lived differently somebody's biological code is a little different which also comes from time he might show a little less pronounced inclination towards liberation but just as this difference in attitude came from time similarly time will level the whole thing out the differences will be gone liberation is destiny each one has to reach it but for some the time might not be in this lifetime as such but it's not the same person who will be born again that's true so but then the person never sought liberation in the first place the body is what meets death is the body seeking liberation so this lifetime is immaterial this lifetime pertains only to the body it is the body that has a definite lifetime the one who is seeking liberation stays on he does not he does not have to die with the body he does not carry the identity of the body so for for those uh, who feel that it's one life why should i get into spiritual stuff now and you know i i i my life is going on fine i don't want to No, no. the thing is driving? even if they want fineness all fineness requires depth you cannot have pleasure even pleasure on the surface even if you want real pleasure it has to go deep and you cannot go deep if in your depths resides darkness when somebody says that i do not need spirituality my life is going pretty fine it means he resides on the surface of life he says i am residing on the surface of life and my life is going pretty fine even this fineness is going to be only skin deep because that's where he is residing only on the skin only on the surface which means even his fineness has no weight to it there is no real enjoyment so the method might be to just encourage the fellow to seek deeper pleasures even if you want a deeper pleasure you will have to go deeper into the mind and going deeper into the mind is what the spiritual process is all about if the fellow is a lover of the good things of life let's say a complete hedonist then encourage him to have deeper pleasures and he'll find that he cannot have deeper pleasures unless he is spiritual spirituality is the art of depth spirituality gives you deep troubles it also gives you deep joy and sometimes in deep troubles like deep joys hmm? so
So there are people who indeed say that no, everything is fine with us and 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 they are not lying. It's just that their fineness is superficial. Yes, there is fineness in your life, but that fineness is just this deep. Scratch the surface and the fineness will evaporate. A little tragedy hits you, and you are all gone. See how quickly you slip into depression. If your fineness had any weight, any substance, any depth, would you be so vulnerable to mental disorders? And it is exactly this class that says, all is fine with me, I do not need spirituality. That is the most prone to all kinds of psychosis, neurosis, depression, anxiety, this, that. Ask the psychiatrist, they will tell you. Better than having superficial pleasures is to have deep troubles. At least you have something deep, no? And anything deep will ultimately lead to truth, liberation, joy. They are another name for great depth.